satu dua tiga Good evening viewers, welcome back to IPC News on National Channel with all the news you need. Today on Thursday, October 10th, 2024, I'm Muhammad Alif, we're bringing the most updated and the hottest news from all around the world. For today's headline, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu continues full force attack against armed group Hezbollah despite calls for ceasefire. Full force attack against armed group Hezbollah from Israel continues despite calls for ceasefire from the US and other allies. These attacks caused major damage to Lebanon, with at least 92 people killed by Israeli strikes on Thursday, and more as strikes from Israel escalated on Monday. The conflict, triggered by the ongoing war in Gaza, has raised fears of an all-out war between Israel and Hezbollah. Amidst the chaos, the 12-strong bloc, including US, UK, and EU, has proposed a three-week ceasefire. This proposal initially met with hope as the Israeli ambassador, Danny Dannon, said his country was open to ideas, but quickly met with rejection by Israeli politicians on Thursday. The White House later clarified that the ceasefire initiative had been coordinated with Israel, despite Netanyahu's insistence on continuing military actions. This disconnect has raised questions about the, effect the effectiveness of international diplomacy in the current crisis. The humanitarian impact of this conflict is significant. Approximately 70,000 Israelis have been displaced from northern regions due to ongoing violence. The situation is dire, with families forced to flee their homes amid the escalating conflict. The Israeli military has intensified its operations, targeting Hezbollah positions in southern Lebanon and the Bekaa Valley as well as infrastructures along the Lebanese-Syrian border. In response to the attack, Hezbollah said that rockets and missiles had been fired to Israeli cities including Kirya Atta and Safed, both located in northern Israel. While the latest development in global politics continue to unfold, capturing attentions around the world, there are also stories that remind us of the softer side of life. The leaf-keeping season is coming. Virginia State Park equipped every managed properties with special view binders for the colorblind. As the leaf-keeping season is coming closer, the Virginia State Park have equipped all managed properties with special view binders for people with colorblinds. These lenses allow those with red-green color vision deficiency (CVD) to witness the beautiful autumn leaf displays that Virginia is famous for. The new view binders made by Seacoast Manufacturing equipped lenses from Enchroma, specifically designed to help users experience a wider spectrum of colors. Matt Wells, Director of Virginia Department of Conservation and Recreation, emphasized the initiative goal of making outdoor experiences more accessible and enjoyable for all visitors. This initiative not only enhances the beauty of the season for those with color vision deficiency, but also sets a precedent for state parks across the nations. As the leaf keeping season approaches, this innovative project promises to transform the way colorblind individuals experience the breathtaking autumn landscape of Virginia. While the situation in the Middle East continues, there are calls from various factions within both Israel and Lebanon for a diplomatic solution to prevent further loss of life and property. However, the path to peace appears fraught with challenges. That concludes today's news session on IPC News. We'll continue to update these developing stories and keep you informed. Thank you for joining us. I'm Muhammad Ali Cruz signing off. Stay safe, stay informed, and see you next time.